Race two of the BMW IBS F four-man bobsay World Cup, the Olympic track in Yangqing. Sun Kai Chi of China had a red letter day in the first four-man race in Beijing's Olympic track, claiming his country's first ever World Cup medal. After the first heat on day two, he was tied for sixth position, not the leader. Three hundredths of a second in hand, just over Austria's Marcus Trichel, he'd had two hundredths over the Austrian after the first of the two heats and he held it together to claim a top six result. Next up, Emil Tsipolis of Latvia, the World Championship silver medalist in four-man, hasn't been able to recreate that form here on the Olympic track. Fourth place on day one, he was tied with Sun Kai Chi for sixth position after the first heat on day two, but he managed to find a little more pace than his Chinese rival. The Latvian sleds are quick at the bottom of the track as long as the driver keeps it neat and tidy. And he managed to just get his nose in front at the line. Fourth after the first of the two heats, Mickey Vogt of Switzerland. He finished in fifth the day before, taking the bronze medal in the two-man on the Friday. But mistakes early on would cost him. He skidded around through one and two and three and four. And by the time he exited the Kreisel, the speed was gone. Only the second quickest man into the 360 degree corkscrew turn. He had enough speed at the bottom, but not enough time in the bank. Tsipolis stayed on top, Vogt slipping one to second. In the top three after the first heat, for the first time in his career, Patrick Baumgartner. With Eric Fantazzini, Robert Mattea and Lorenzo Bellotti, he finished sixth on day one. The Youth Olympic champion in boys bobsleigh from Lillehammer 2012 is the man who is on his way, potentially, to a first World Cup medal, if he held it all together. He did better than that. He drove even better than the first heat. It was a textbook performance as he raced to his first World Cup medal and the first four-man medal since Simone Batazzo on the right, who now coaches, claimed that in November 2005. <laughs> Second after the first of the two heats, Francesco Friedrich. Silver in the two-man, silver in the previous day's four-man was his medal haul for the weekend up to this stage. But with only 300 separating him from the lead, Friedrich was bound to be a danger. Well, he would have been if one and two and three and four had gone a lot better. Second fastest into the Kreisel, but his advantage over Baumgartner was shrinking fast. And Baumgartner had been fast at the bottom. Friedrich wasn't. The unthinkable happened. He slipped behind. Baumgartner now had a silver. One sled to go. If Olympic champion Friedrich could slip behind, then so too possibly could Olympic silver medalist Hansi Lochner. Gold in two-man, gold in the previous day's four-man has been his medal tally, and he set out to make it a triple gold winning weekend. You don't get those options very often. Cleaner at the top than his teammate, he still was not quite as quick as Baumgartner at the Kreisel. The key difference between him and Friedrich, though, was the speed he took out of the 360-degree corkscrew turn. More than enough to claim his third goal of the weekend. Coach Matthijs Hertfler might have been shaking his head with relief, but Hansi had it all under control. What a result. Friedrich takes the bronze, a hundredth behind silver medalist Baumgartner. But it was all about three times gold medal winner Johannes Lochner in Beijing. Hansi leads the World Cup rankings from Friedrich and Baumgartner as they depart from Beijing. They are smoking hot.